what's going on island hoppers today we are going to take a look at whittier seward and homer all along the kenai peninsula famous for its glacier fjords world-class fishing and river rafting and it's located just south of the cook inlet All right, here we are on Highway 1 going along the coast to Whittier. Uh, this whole area right here, glacial ice in the winter. Right now it's dry, but it is windy. Beautiful coastline, some of the most beautiful coastline I've seen so far in Alaska. Beyond Whittier, we will also be going to Seward uh, later on and possibly down to Homer, so you'll want to stick around. One thing that I would like to say is that the interior of Alaska is different than the coastal Alaska. In particular, the Inner Passage, Kenai, the interior and the coastal areas, two totally different experiences, both beautiful in their own unique way. This road that we're actually transiting right now is called Highway 1. And running alongside this highway is actually the Alaska Railway. As we continue this transit towards Whittier, it is about an hour and a half away from Anchorage. Uh, we will be coming to a tunnel where you have to stop and wait uh, because the tunnel opens one way in each direction uh, on the hour. So uh, we will be arriving there shortly. But first, let's enjoy the views on the way. Just before you get to the Whittier Tunnel called the Anton Anderson Memorial Tunnel, you come to the Portage Lake Glacier area, and that's where we're going to explore right here. You can do a glacier tour on a cruise out to the glacier. Uh, we actually didn't do that because we were still headed towards Whittier. Uh, as you can see, we finally arrived at the tunnel. Uh, it's a long drive through there, and it's a very tight uh, experience. Like I said, it's one way in each direction, as you will see. They have to make time for traffic coming into Whittier, leaving Whittier, as well as the railway.
Yeah, after a long ride going through that tunnel, we finally arrived in Whittier. That tunnel takes about five minutes of driving, I don't know, 20 miles an hour getting through there. But then it's all worth it once you get here. Lots of glaciers around here. Now, if you do want to ride the ferry, we'll talk about that here in a moment. If you look right behind me, you can see the marina. But if you look down here, you can see there's people who actually ride jet skis out to the glaciers. Now, you don't have to take jet skis to get to the glaciers. There's also a tour boat that goes out there. It's called 26 Glacier Tour. So here we got half and half. This is uh, shrimp and halibut with fries. If you look right behind me right now, you could see the Aurora ferry boat actually headed to Valdez. It's $66 to go there and you can actually drive your car into that ferry boat. It takes about six hours to get there. What a beautiful ride. All right, Island Hoppers, now we're headed down to Seward. Headed in here to see what kind of food they have. They have moose nuts, what's that?
All right, guys, we've made it to Seward, Alaska. We're gonna walk around here. You can see the free shuttle. There's something to think about, but there is parking here. If you do drive, $10 to park in this parking lot. They're five hour long tours, eight hour long tours. The next one goes tomorrow morning. And in the late afternoon, you can see all different types of fish coming out of Resurrection Bay with these commercial fishermen. Uh, the people who go out, they get away everything they bring in. Lots of big halibut and a whole variety of different fish from the Alaska seas up here. All right guys, here we are on 4th Avenue and Washington Street. This is the downtown area of Seward. So we're gonna go walking and uh, see what it looks like down here.
this bay you're looking at right here known as Resurrection Bay, you can also do whale watching, fishing, uh, glacier tours down the Kenai Peninsula. And you can see right here, they've even got a map following the Seward, uh, Seward um, Highway here where you could do all of the wildlife uh, scenic points. I got a, I got a uh, blonde here with a midnight sun, sunset. On this day, it was a beautiful day. Uh, as you could see, lots of blue skies. Looking north towards the Cook Inlet, you could see plenty of the volcanoes on the other side of the inlet. Many big mountains over there, snow-capped at that, even in the summertime. And here we are at Deep Creek State Recreation Area where you can see plenty of eagles. Lots and lots of eagles down here. Also, you can see the fishermen coming in and out with these big tractors that put them in and pull them out.
Here we are at the Homer Overlook. This is a scenic point going in both directions. You can see across the sound here, and you can also see towards Saldovia. Here we are at Bishop's Beach in Homer. We're gonna go walk down there and see what it looks like. So now we'll show you guys around the town on the Homer Spit here. This is probably where you'll want to go if you come down this way. Uh, they got lots of tours going across the waterway here also. You can go to Saldovia. Uh, many places around here that are worth checking out though. Wildlife tours as well. Uh, so yeah, what you're looking at here, the Homer Spit. Here we are on the Homer Spit, which is an area just off the mainland. It's a sandbar, basically. Uh, out here you can get water taxis to go across to Seldovia, boardwalks, two different boardwalks that you can walk around, restaurants, taverns.
All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Island Hopper TV from the Kenai Peninsula. Hope you guys enjoyed it and watch some more of these other videos. We will see you on the next one.